I'm on Patreon and Patreon is a platform where, where I will upload interesting videos where you can learn astrology. And this is an exclusive Patreon only membership videos where you will get some interesting takes on Vedic astrology, some interesting learning on Vedic astrology and a lot more secrets will be shared there. Hello Seekers, welcome to Panish Astrology, your one-stop astro channel. Let's talk a bit about, in brief, about Guru Chandal Yoga. A lot of people uh, have commented on this uh, during consultations also. I get to hear this a lot, that from April, Rahu and Jupiter will be in Aries. We will discuss that in detail, but let's first fundamentally understand in a like, few minutes, what is a Guru Chandal Yoga? Why it is called Guru Chandal? See, Guru is Brahaspati, Dev Guru Brahaspati, the planet of infinite wisdom, the planet of knowledge, the planet that represents wealth, prosperity, children, life, the Jiva Karaka. So, Guru has an immense role. It is also the liver, the fat. That means it defines your existence. Now, come to Chandal. Chandal uh, is a word that is used for a Rahu. The main thing why it is said is because of the tamasic energies of Rahu, the dark secrets that, <coughs> that Rahu holds and the dark energies that Rahu uh, brings along and influences you. So Rahu has this capacity, this manipulative ability to influence your mind, to make you do things, what he wants, what he seems right. And Jupiter is like some a guru who takes a test, will see if you are worthy and if only you are worthy, you will be given what you deserve so that you can handle the energies you demand. So today, if I demand to go to, say, Mars, can I, can I even survive the ride? So Guru is going to take a test whether you, you are going to survive a ride. But Rahu is like, hey, you want to go to Mars? Go. Whether you die in flight is not his problem. And Guru is not transactional. Guru... Uh, will not ask you something in return. It is called Guru Dakshina. That is a different thing. That is a relationship between teacher and student to cancel the, any debt. But Rahu is highly transactional. Rahu is like if it gives you something, it would, it would take in return. Remember this devil and Satan worship in the West? The devil asks you to sign a contract and takes the soul in return. All these things is Rahu-like interpretation, you can say. But in Vedic, there is no Satan, but uh, Rahu is also a Deva, Devata. That means Rahu is the manifestation of a dark energy, which if put to good use can actually take you to the path of Moksha. So when both Jupiter and Rahu come together, it will be a fight between knowledge and darkness. It is like the true seek the light moment for humanity. When Jupiter and Rahu comes together in a zodiac sign, in a particular horoscope, it can create a state of high confusion. Jupiter would want you to move to Sattva. Rahu would want you to move to Tamasic energy. Jupiter is more like uh, positive energy. Rahu is more like negative energy. And sometimes, if Rahu ends up influencing Jupiter, or Jupiter ends up becoming negative for you, then this Jupiter and Rahu can mean explosive growth explosive negative growth in the body. It just explodes. Yes, because Jupiter is Jiva Karaka, Jupiter is positive energy. Even if he's angry, he's not going to destroy you. He, although he has the potential, but still, if you follow the path of Jupiter, and if you try to take Rahu as a Devata, and try to use the benefit of Rahu, which is actually Swarbhanu, the sound of sun, the positive side of Rahu, which is constant effort, seeking what is beyond, not limiting yourself to one area of life, but exploring and expanding yourself. Desire has to exist. And Rahu Jupiter means desire for knowledge on the positive side. And on the negative side, it means annihilation. It is like a matter-antimatter coming into contact, which represents annihilation. A huge energy explosion happens. And that is why it is very explosive a lot of people think that Mars and Rahu Angara Kyos is, is highly explosive. Well, in a, in a sense, Mars and Rahu can be equated with each other, but not Jupiter and Rahu. They are absolutely opposite. Wherever you have Jupiter and Rahu together, wherever it is placed, you will see that there will always be tidal forces pulling you apart. And those two tidal forces 
are going to take you to the positive and to the negative, to the sattva and to the tamas. And that is where you will have to be highly, highly careful how to manage these energies. Otherwise, you will fall into the pit. And first, it will make you a sadhaka, making you believe false things by making giving false claims. And then once you believe your inner sense that you are a sadhaka, suddenly there will be a downfall. And that downfall will be so harsh, so hard, that you will regret why did you lose your track. So Jupiter and Rahu can easily make you believe in illusion, thinking that it is a jnana. And then later on when Jupiter becomes powerful, you realize that you are in the wrong path, but sometimes it's too late. So Jupiter and Rahu is realization too late in the negative side. But on the positive side, Jupiter and Rahu combination is knowledge of the other world. Knowledge that is not easily accessible. You prove yourself worthy to access interdimensional space. It can make you a scientist. It can make you a philosopher, a scholar, a scholar of different origin. Yes, Rahu will have its own negative traits that will be introduced, but that can be easily controlled. So it's a constant push and pull. It's a constant tug of war. It's a constant fight between, you can say it's a Devasur Sangram in itself. And what comes out will be initially the negative and then the positive. First the wish and then the Amrit. And that is an attitude that you will have to follow. Your first half of life will always be full of tamasic energy. And the second half of life will force you to become sattvic. And this transition is bound to happen when you have Jupiter and Rahu together in one zodiac sign. Doesn't matter where it is. Yes, the effect becomes more prominent. If it is in 159 or 8th house, then it becomes very, very strong and intense, especially in the 8th and 9th house. You have to ensure that you are utilizing the Rahu in the positive sense. You are praising Jupiter. You are praying to Bhagwan Narayan, constantly seeking the light, constantly, uh, you know, getting a guru and trying to understand that you are in the right track, constantly filtering, constantly you are trying to uh, realize your consequences of your own karma and then this will big, give you a lot of positive results but otherwise this has the potential to make you greedy this has the potential to make you make you corrupt it can corrupt Jupiter in energy and uh, because don't underestimate Rahu Rahu is a planet that can eclipse the Sun forget about Jupiter so don't underestimate the power of Agyan lack of knowledge half knowledge can become a poison and that is the kind of poison you're talking here. Doing the puja of Bhagwan Shiva and Nag Devata definitely helps during this time. Let me know if you want more detailed discussion on Jupiter and Rahu as a conjunction in unity in one zodiac sign uh, for Jupiter and Rahu transit video for April. It's too late. I will bring a video around February and March. Stay tuned. So subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss another update. Also follow me on Instagram and Telegram and for consultations, please drop me an email. Now coming to the remedies for Jupiter and Rahu together, chanting Saraswati Bij Mantra, Om Aim Saraswati Nama, taking the name of Narayan, Vishnu Sahasranam, and also praying to Shani Dev. So that practical way of life is seen are, are effective ways to manage Jupiter and Rahu energies, rest, uh, entire horoscope has to be seen in case you have Jupiter and Rahu because this can make a person apply their intellect, their smartness, their knowledge in two ways. One, in destruction, Daridrata, and the other as a scientific approach, as a technical approach and can make you a master of technology. It is totally up to you how you want to use the energy. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, Namaste.